Hey my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Go Wai, but you can also call me Wirke. And you're watching episode 24 of the Legacy Challenge that we're doing here on this channel. And if you guys have seen the cliffhanger where we left off in the last episode, then you know what's happening. If not, make sure to check out the last episode so you don't get the spoiler, the cliffhanger from the last episode. But here it is. So our girl is in labor. She's go. It's go time. We're going to get a baby. So you girl, are you going to finish your food? Well, you're fine. We're going to go to the hospital, have a baby at the hospital, and see which little oh. baby comes out. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I'm not sure if it's going to be a boy or a girl, if it's going to be one baby, two babies. I have no clue. So we're just going to see at the hospital. And we're just going to travel with Cameron and with the whole family. And I'll see you guys once we're there. So we're at the hospital with a doctor who is missing his head. Are you sure this is going to be well if we have a doctor who's not really in the head space? But well, why don't we just check in at the hospital and let's go, go, go. Let's... Can we actually check in? Everybody, like this... This hospital is missing all of their heads. I think... I think this is the ho the hospital of the headless man. Ooh, I'm not sure. Oh, she is going. She is going. Is she? Is she? Is she ready to go? She is looking very, very miserable for sure. Uh, she's getting in line. Thing. I have no clue. Is she actually going to give birth or not? I have no clue. Are you going to check in, girl? Are you actually going to check in and getting your baby? Let's see. I'm not sure what, what's going on, but this, this is a hospital. They don't have heads. They definitely do not have their heads. Is she going now? Is she going? Is she going? Let's see, I think she is, so Cameron, I know you're really depressed, I know you're really sad, but your wife, she's giving birth, so you go here, and you're actually going to take a picture if we can. The doctor is not operating either, this this hospital, it's it's Halloween, oh it was Halloween, it, no it's still Halloween when I'm filming this, so it's just Halloween. Just Halloween. This hospital is just a Halloween show. Karen, stop panicking. It's fine. You've seen your wife give birth before. Well, he won't stop panicking. Um. Well, you're going to take a picture of your wife. Just because we can. Let's see. You have to make sure that we are actually in the right space. So, take a photo. You can do it. You can do it. And what are we getting? We're getting the picture. Oh, it's not a good place for the picture. So we'll wait for the picture once we actually have the little addition to the family. And we'll just wait and see what we are actually going to get. He stopped panicking at least, so that's a good thing. And I really hope we don't have two babies, to be honest. Because we don't have the money to build a two baby nursery. We have barely have the money to build like a one baby nursery, so if we're going to have to build a nursery and it's for multiple babies, we're just going to have to be a little bit creative. And it's a baby girl! So, I checked your guys' name IDs, and for a girl I really liked Aaliyah, so we're going to name her Aaliyah. Let's see. It's spelled like this, I think. Just going to check my phone real quick. I have it here right with me. Yes, it's spelled like this. So, Aaliyah Burnett. And... Okay, guys. We're having twins. Or at least twins. So, there was another suggestion. It's all on Twitter. Uh, which was... Ebony. Ebony, I also really, really like. So, why don't we go with Ebony? Hopefully, she has like this raven dark hair. And... Any more babies? Not more babies. 
I think that's it. So we got twins. We got two twin girls. Uh, they're adorable, or at least they're adorable for baby wise. And let's just take a quick look. So this one has a black hair, and this one has a hat through the wall. Also black hair. So maybe they're identical twins. I don't know. We'll see once they age up as a toddler, but we got the little babies! We got twins! Guys, I'm so excited. I'm honestly so excited. So Cameron, you're going to get ready to take a picture again. Or you're going to run out of the room in a little bit of a panic. Cameron, come back. Come back. Go here. Okay, I'll take the picture for you because you're basically not in... But ready to take a picture. So I'm not sure if this is with Aaliyah or with Ebony, but we're just going to take a cute little picture without a plum bob. There we go. Cameron, if you're making it in time, I'm going to be very proud of you. Well, never mind. We can take a picture that's actually good looking. Is she talking your baby weird? I have no clue what's going on, but we'll take a picture of the babies, or at least a little painting of the babies, once we're at home. And how is he feeling? He's feeling happy from having a new baby, he's feeling happy from being considerate, and from being a people person. He's also feeling happy from a true happy moment, and from something. So I'll see you guys once we're back home, and I'll build the nursery on camera as well. So we're back home and everybody has come back from daycare. So let's see where the little babies are floating. So let's see, both Aaliyah and Ebony are floating in little Sasha's room, but that's not really the place that we want them to be. So I'm just going to build onto the house Still have some ideas for rebuilding the entire home, doing like a really huge farm home. But I'm not really sure what to do or like don't have like a real template in mind. If you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below or link me some farmhouse that you would like them to see living in. But first, we're just going to build a little bit of an addition to the household. So I'm kind of wondering where we can actually build the little home. We can't really build it off of here. Or we, well, we can, but it would look a little bit weird. Hmm. Where to build, where to build. Kind of thinking maybe we can actually make some changes to the living room. Actually have some stuff move over, add some stairs and make an upstairs room for the little babies. Let's place this one over here, if I can. There we go. If we move everything forward, just a tap bit. It's just for now, I'm definitely going to build a different room for them, or a different home, but let's see if we can at least have something different for now. Well, there's not really enough space, so we maybe need to extend on the living room just a bit more. Okay, bear with me guys, we're just going to make some changes to the home. It's definitely so dark in here. Let's put it on daytime. With the windows not really working. Uh, stairs, stairs, stairs. Let's see, we can go with these stairs, who are, which are basically my favorite ones that I always use. And then where can we play? Oh, they're not enough funds. Okay, let's go with these ones for now. They're only five simoleons. And let's see, we're also going to delete this part. Oh. Wasn't supposed to delete the windows. Just the stair part. Which does not want to cooperate. Okay, let's move it out real quick. Why are there windows stuck to the... Okay, I don't know. Okay, so I'm just going to do this real quick. Make sure that everything is looking nice and dandy. 
And then I'll show you once we actually start on the nursery. So this is the little nursery. I did, didn't do like too much on it. I placed some posters. I gave them their names above their bed. Gave them a little plushie. And I did check. They are in the right position. So Aaliyah is at the name Aaliyah. And Ebony is where Ebony is stated. But this is their little nursery. It's It's not too much. They need to like save their money as well. But at least it's it's something. I really like the horse pose. This is kind of like My Little Pony, or I think it is actually My Little Pony. Looking at this one, I think it's a little bit. I it's My Little Pony for sure. But I really like the posters. They look really really cute. So also what happened is we actually got the successful lineage step two out of the way. So Isabella she just finished up her resolution that we got in I think it was the last episode that we made the resolutions. So now she has to read to a child for a total of for two total hours, and she has to socialize with her child ten times. Well, that will definitely be easy. I do have to think we don't really have a bookcase, so maybe I'll just go back into build and buy mode to buy a bookcase real quick and just place it a little bit over here. Let's see, bookcase be really nice to have. Uh, we could just buy like this really cheap one if I kind of want to buy just something a little bit better looking. We can do one of the fabricated bookcases. Would be nice, maybe this one? Let's go with this one. I do have buy the buck basically enabled or all of the buy the buck items. So you do see like all of the buy the buck items that you usually wouldn't be able to get in here. Uh, it's just a cheat that I have to make it easier for myself to build. But usually when I would build, I don't use these items for, for example, eco lifestyle. I wouldn't be using it to create like homes. Why don't we make a little bit of a bookcase so that we can at least read to little Sasha for two hours. And the girls, they are crying. They are looking really, really sad. So why don't we have her feed Aaliyah and ebony and then have cameron do a little bit of social interacting just making sure that both of the babies are are happy and are in a good space so he's going to cuddle both of them and then i'm also going to work on both the needs it's 9 p.m so sasha she's looking really good with her with her needs which is not the greatest thing because her energy it should be like that she's ready to go to bed but uh, we're thinking about it. I may change it up that she will have like her energy go down or like in a down space, but for now it's all right. And I'm not sure what she actually thinks, but we are going to have her play with her dolls to get her imagination up. It's basically what she's focusing on the most imagination and then communication is also something that she does. Uh, but she doesn't have any moodlets regarding her little baby sister, so I don't think it's. I think she's just like, yeah, I'm chilling out. I'm fine with it. Not really thinking about me having sisters. Uh, but it's definitely a girl's household right now. Cameron is definitely in the minority of the male part of the household. So hopefully with the next babies, we do have some little boys. It would be nice to have like both girls and boys. Did I see? Ooh, uh, yes, I did. We have some plants to evolve. So, Karen and Isabella, they're just taking care of the little babies. I'm going to make sure that we evolve all of our plants. There are a couple of them, actually. Is that all of them? No more sparkling? Well, except for the one that's evolving, but I don't see any more sparkling. So, that's good. And how are your knees looking? You just need sleep, so you're pretty much fine. And let's... Cameron, are you... What are you doing? You're eating pancakes. Well, alright, I'll allow you to eat pancakes and let you go to the toilet. After that, you are going to go over to... Uh, well, she's asleep, but you're going to cuddle Aaliyah just to have like a nice picture and just have like a nice little get-together with the, both of the babies. I will definitely make sure that we have like pictures of a single baby just to have like the cuteness over here. And you're forgetting your pancakes. You're allowed to eat your pancakes, Cameron. You are. It's fine. Are you actually still having them with you? No, you're not. 
So you're allowed to eat your pancakes. Isabella, how are you doing? You're breastfeeding. That's it? Let's see. Just make sure that we take a picture. Well, quick. Cameron and Aaliyah. Aww. She's looking at him with like really big eyes. Like, so happy. That's so cute. She's definitely looking with really, really, really big eyes to her dad. Like, Yada! Uh, I love it. I'm really, like, happy to see that this is such a cute little happy family. Um, I still think that we should put little Sasha to bed because she's going to be so tired when she goes to preschool in the morning. But I think she's also vibing out. So we're just going to have her vibe out and then when she gets a little bit tired, we're going to have her go to bed. Karen, he's just going to get worked on his knees just to make sure that he's in a good headspace. And you do have work in 11 hours. I'm not sure if you're going to get like the prepare food and mix drinks out of the way, unfortunately. But for this time, we don't care. We're just going to make sure that you get a good performance and get that promotion for your resolution. And I'll just make sure that Aaliyah goes to bed whenever she can. So she can be like really happy when she goes to preschool. So I see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Never mind, baby's crying, babies are crying, so Isabella, you are just, you're the one that's just gone to bed. Oh, she's also burst from peeing her pants. Okay. Oh, that's so sad. Uh, and you do want to serenade another sim. Aw. Well, you can at one point, but you're gonna have to change your daughter's dirty diaper. You, you can share your insecurities, you can talk to Cameron, you can kiss Cameron, everything, but you have to take care of your daughter as well. Is she going? Yes, she is. And why don't you cuddle Aaliyah as well as she's crying anyways, and then if we can take a picture with little mm -hmm. Ebony as well, that would be really cute. Just to make sure, we're going to take a picture... With Aaliyah and Isabella, I'm going to change her skin tone again once she ages up because her skin tone is a little bit uh, darker than what she is supposed to be. So I'll be giving all of them the same skin tone as Sasha has. Because Sasha, she is like a good skin tone mixture of Cameron and Isabella. And usually that is the case that you get like a similar skin tone for all of the kids if you mix a lighter skin tone with a darker skin tone. But for now, they're just little toddlers, uh, little toddlers, little babies, so they're just vibing out. And, oh, she wants to watch her dad eat. Well, you can definitely... It's... Sasha, you can for sure. Why don't you do a little bit of talking about your favorite color and about princesses with your dad as well. Just, just have some, like, conversation with your dad. Be friendly. It also will help with your communication. And I think your dad will be happy to see a little bit of... A communication between the three of you, or the two of you. Oh, she loves coloring with yellow. It makes her feel happy. So, I think Sasha's favorite color is yellow. So, we're going to note that down. And maybe once she ages up into a little child, we can give her a little bit of a yellow room. Let me see. I'm going to find some pen and paper to write it down and then make sure that everybody stays happy and wakes up in the morning on time. And it is crying time because the babies are hungry, I think. So why don't we wake Isabella up and have her breast free because it's time to wake up anyway. So go over to your baby girls, give them a little bit of a breastfeed, cuddle both of them, make a silly face. J just make sure that the babies are taken care of. And feeling happy. Cameron, he is still asleep. He should be waking up any minute as well. So what are we going to do with him once he wakes up? Let's see. What are we going to do with you? Are we going to have you? Well, you do need to push the limits for one hour while energized. Which means that you have to work on something. But we're not going to be able to. Uh, also, work starts for you in an hour, so I don't think we can do much, unfortunately. Why don't we just have you scrap the woodwork and maybe start another woodwork. And no, oh no, no, we're not going to do that. Well, Aaliyah's, uh, Aaliyah, Sasha is moving to preschool anyway, so it's fine. 
She's hungry and she does need some hygiene. Hopefully the oh, yes. preschool will take care of that. Kunata. In the meantime, Cameron, you could just craft a little bit of a bunny sculpture. Elephant sculpture. Let's do an elephant sculpture and a horse sculpture for both of the babies. Then we have a bunny for Sasha, a horse sculpture for Aaliyah, and maybe an elephant sculpture for Ebony. Just to have like all of them have some different sculptures and then we can place them around the house in their respective rooms. Probably don't have any place to do it now. But maybe we can put it on here. And then we do need you, Isabella, to eat some. So why don't you get some leftovers and then after that, girls will probably be fine. So after that you could just go to the garden, feed all, sell everything. And then also spray for bugs. And then we can make sure that you actually sell everything. Also we can take care of our bees. Because they, they are calm, they're active. We can make a little bit of a conversation with our bees and collect some honey. Sasha, she's at work so hopefully they will actually take care of her food. Yes they are. Thank you. Are you okay Sasha? And Jacob is messaging us saying congratulations on the addition to the family thank you jacob and as i said before we're not going to get a job as isabella she has like a job being a stay-at-home mom and i'm just going to make sure that everything is going fine all of the babies are looking good well Mostly, they do need a diaper change, so why don't you change your diaper after taking care of the garden. And everybody is fine, so after that you can eat some food as well. Or are you eating? You're eating food now. Okay, so I'm just going to have her work in the garden and get some money. And then I'll see you guys back in a sec. So Cameron just got home and he did get a promotion. So now he's been promoted to caterer, meaning that he will make an additional 10 Somalians per hour for a grand total of 26 Somalians per hour. He's also received a following bonus of 368 Somalians. And he has also gotten a stainless steel autopod. So now he'll be working late hours, meaning that he can stay during the day with the little girls. And then in the evening he will be going to work. Also Isabella, she's taking care of the little toddlers. Toddlers, I keep saying toddlers, little babies. Uh, together with... Oh, Sasha who came over to talk to her little sisters and look at her little sisters She does have like the happy mood happy mood from getting a new sibling So she is really happy with being a big sister She is also feeling a little bit hungry. So why don't you? Olia Olia Sasha, okay, I'm going to definitely get like these names mixed up But Sasha, why don't you get some fruit from your daddy first? We're also going to Change your diaper. And then Cameron, you're also going to give her some food because she needs it. So give her some food. And then we make sure that she's at least happy. Both of them, both uh, Cameron and Isabella, definitely need some fun in their life. So after taking care of the toddlers, which is it's exhausting, it will definitely take away some of the fun. Like as a new parent, most of the time you are really happy with. With, be with the babies and take care of them but you can't really do the things that you usually would be doing so it does take away some of the fun in your life but the things that you normally do but you do gain something in return that's even more precious although after she takes care of all of the babies there is another diaper change Definitely, like these babies are just take up we really want to go over but we can't uh, but these babies they just need like they need everything they can just keep crying, keep crying. So after this, Isabella, you can just play concerto and do some fun stuff. Leah is definitely the crybaby of the family. Why don't you, Cameron, just give her some love and everything after you put little Sasha in the high chair. She's, she's definitely a crier, Aaliyah. Ebony, she's fine. She's like... Just sleeping most of the time, not really crying. Aaliyah all the time crying. So we have a little bit of a fuzzy girl and a little bit of a independent girl. It's really interesting to see. So I think once both of them age up, which will probably be either in... I think it probably be in the next episode or maybe the one after. 
But it will definitely be interesting to see what traits both of them get. And this is helping with your phone, which is nice. Tasha is just sitting here eating some of her applesauce, which in my opinion doesn't look too great, but it's fine. She also is really tired and she doesn't need a, a bladder relief. So after she eats her food, we're going to have mom go over and make her teach how to use the potty. But it is really cute to see like daddy taking care of all of the babies only. Is Ebony now crying? I don't think Ebony is crying. But we can apparently show her off to Clement Frost, Santa Claus. We're just going to make sure that you also take care of her a little bit. Okay. Maybe Malia, stop crying. We're taking care of you. You don't have to cry in your dad's arms. It's fine, see? You're being taken care of. You're in good hands. You can just go to sleep. It's fine. So you're going to now teach your daughter how to use the potty, so stop what you're doing, don't go watching TV even though you apparently really want to, but make sure that you potty train Sasha. Get her out of the high chair and potty train her because she is really close to using her diaper and I don't want it, I want her to get onto level, oh she is actually on level 2 so she should be able to use the potty independently. But we just have to make sure that she actually does it, and then you can read her to sleep, as she is really, really tired. So make sure you go over and use, may have her use the potty. Come on, you can do it. You can have her use the potty. Is she going by herself? She's going by herself. Never mind. She's going by herself. Oh no, she's coming over. Isabella is coming over to teach her daughter. And I think Aaliyah just needs some food. She's still crying, so just give her some breastfeed. And also give Ebony some breastfeed. Just to make sure that both of them are not crying soon again. And are you actually going to breastfeed them? I did tell you to. Yes, you are. Just doesn't look like it. And then you can read your toddler to sleep. She's really close to reaching level 3, so she should be maxing out potty real soon. She's on level 2 with thinking, level 3 with communication, level 4 with movement and imagination. But imagination is definitely her best skill. I think she will be definitely into drawing and being really creative, just like her mom. So maybe she can continue the painting of everyone. And Cameron, you can, you can eat the pancakes. I know you apparently love the pancakes a lot, but you can, you can eat them. So I'm just going to wait for them to finish up the potty training and making sure that everything is nice and dandy. So that Izzy can also... Ooh, I know, it's almost both of the birthdays. So they will definitely be aging up in the next episode. Also, Aaliyah... Uh, not Aaliyah, Sasha. I keep calling her Aaliyah for some reason. Sasha, she will be aging up really, really soon because she only has two days to age up. So she probably will also be aging up in the next episode. Oh, or I'll be leaving it for the episode after so that we have the little baby's awesome. birthday in the next episode. And then the one from Sasha in the episode after. Let's see, you're just going to take care of, of the little babies, making sure that they feel nice and happy. Oh, she passed out. I'm sorry, Ali. Uh, no, Sasha. Seriously, somebody give them name signs on the person so I can see it. Not like this. Just when I look at the person, you can see the name sign. J just give it to me. Make make me sh make sure that I don't keep saying the wrong name for the wrong person. And you can also. Let's see. He was going to play dolls with her. That's how, so cute. But your dad needs to take care of himself, a little baby girl. But your mom is coming over to take care of you. To reach you to bed and reach you to sleep. 
although Ebony is still crying, so <laughs> probably after she gets Red to bed, Red to sleep, we'll be just going over to Ebony and making sure that Ebony is also taken care of. So I'm going to send both of the gu these guys to bed and I think I'm going to end the episode here. I will be doing a little bit of a makeover of all of the people just to give them a little bit more of a spring outfit. So I'll be getting them into cast, giving them a nice makeover and hopefully you guys like that. So I'm going to end the voice over here and everything but stay tuned for the little makeover. If you guys like this video click that little like button down below, comment if you're excited about the new toddlers. And if you like the names Aaliyah and Ebony for them, also let me know if you actually expected them to be twin girls. And if you when and if you want me to try for more babies or not, I kind of think that we should try at least one more time to get some baby boys because it would be really nice if we have some baby boys in this family as well. But yeah, let me know. And if you have subscribed already, please do so so you can join the lovely family. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye guys. When you feel the world is over When you say you're feeling lonely If you ever need a shoulder You know where to find me Stop chasing
Take you there